Well, thank you for um, coming to our fabulous place here on the uh, shores of Lake Okanagan. And it's a privilege for us to have the Honourable Stockwell Day with us so that we can have the opportunity to acknowledge the grant from the federal government to do many things um, in the near future. And I'm going to ask Diane to say just a, a little bit about that grant um, and what we intend to do. Great. Yeah, we're really grateful for the support and working with our community partners. Um, our plan is to do some rehabilitation along Naramata Creek from the lake right up to 8th Street to remove some of the invasive species that have come in over the years and uh, do some new planting and really involve the community and do an educational part to that project as well to protect the habitat for the kokanee and uh, also to just improve the habitat uh, generally for the wildlife in this area. And we're delighted with this support and with the support we've had from the community. I think it's important to say that uh, Naramata Centre is uh, pleased to be able to host many people. Over 7,000 people annually come through our programs and through our conferences and it, it's an opportunity for us to be in educational mode always about maintaining and sustaining God's creation here in the Okanagan Valley. So a privilege again to have you here with us today. Great. Well thank you to everybody. Um, some people may not be aware, this is actually the United Nations um, International Year of Biodiversity. And uh, the ECHO Action Fund, which funds projects right across the country, uh, ties into all of that. To give you a bit of an idea, there's, only, uh, there's funding for only 60 projects across the entire country this mm -hmm. year. So it shows the, uh, the great work that's been involved locally here, uh, working together to be able to get funds for projects right here. The uh, amounts of the funds for the first uh, project, which would be the Naramata Creek, is about uh, $7,250. And for the uh, Okanagan Nation uh, on the Okanagan River up by the McIntyre Dam, that's about uh, $9,620, give or take. Mostly gift. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and uh, also what's important to note here is that um, 50% uh, of the overall project, uh, the, the local organizations have to come up with 50%, either cash or in-kind services, and uh, so it's a credit to the local organizations. So it's actually driving, you know, about, um, w when you add the two up, it's driving about $35,000 worth of activity, but more importantly, the work is being done locally. And that's where uh, local environmental issues really are best addressed. So I feel very good about the fact that uh, the, the enhancement in the creek and, and the river is going to be taking place by people who literally know the land. And um, uh, that we're going to be well served by all of that. So uh, thank you so much to uh, Janet, to Diane, to everybody who's involved. Uh, Bill, for your involvement uh, with the community group. It's going to be great work uh, to see this go ahead and to know that we got two of the 60 projects uh, across the country for this year is pretty exciting. Thank you. Hi, I'm Diane Ratson from Naramata Centre and uh, today we just met on the dock at the centre and uh, received confirmation from Stockwell Day that we've uh, received a grant from EcoAction Canada to support a project to enhance the habitat along Naramata Creek on Naramata Centre's side of the creek on the south bank from the lake all the way up to uh, 8th Street and we're delighted with that support. It's a matching grant of just over $7,000 and even more grateful for the community support that we've had um, in-kind donation of volunteer time commitment. Um, Ava Antonovic from uh, Village Grounds is our project biologist and she's going to donate all of her time and we've received letters of support and commitment from the Naramata Creek Committee, from the Naramata Environmental Action Team, both those groups part of the Naramata Citizens Association and from the Naramata Centre Sacred Garden Volunteer Group. All of those people are going to be participating with us to do this project which will involve really improving the habitat for all the wildlife along the creek which you can probably hear in the background right now um, as you as many in the area will know it's a sensitive uh, kokanee spawning area and there are lots of birds that use this um, riparian area along the creek so our plan is to remove the plant species that we don't want to have in that area and to plant native species and other species that will protect and enhance that area and i'd also like to note that um, this is not an invasive uh, project by any means uh, for any of our neighbors who might be wondering what the extent of the project is. It All the work will be done by hand, there will be no machinery used 
And um, if, if privacy or um, screening of privacy is a concern for anyone, um, if anything, I think this project will enhance that because we will be making sure that we leave all dead material in place that should be there, um, trees that are serving as habitat for birds, and um, we will be very sensitive to what our neighbors' concerns are in this project, and um, I think it will make sure that we let people know how it's going as we go along. We're also hoping to, and we haven't had conversations yet, but we'd like to imagine ways that we might work with the students from their meta school as well. Mm -hmm. So we're delighted and um, we'll be uh, offering more information to the community through My Naramata and other means uh, over the next few months. The project will happen over the next two years.